Hey guys, Yoshi here. Welcome back to another video. I was just really surprised that over 30% of you guys do not like lapel guard. Why is that? Is it just because lapel guard is a kind of stalling technique, like 50-50? To be fair, yes it is. If you really want to stall your opponent, lapel guard would be way easier than regular open guard. But on the other hand, you have more control than regular open guard. Plus, you got lots of versatility to attack from super tight position. Let's start with understanding of the mechanism of lapel guard and the difference between normal guard and lapel guard. So normal guard, it's pretty simple. We just need to make car grips, sleeve grips, then we can play guard, like car sleeve guard. Just need to make the car sleeve grip. Spider, double sleeve, using your feet. And De La Hever, just take your person leg to play like this. Usually we can set up in one or two actions, but on the other hand, lapel guard takes more process than normal guard. Just because you need to feel the person's lapel off, switch it in, make lasso and warm guard, I'll show you later. If we want to save lapel guard from this position, we need to feel the lapel off. Then in my case, when I use lapel guard, maybe between the round or end of the round, like my opponent is giving already off. But if we start from the beginning, we need to take it off. Then in this time, it's a little tricky. Lapel guard, the time you touch your partner's lapel, there is no control. That's why if I just really focus on doing it, he can pass my guard. Probably you experienced before. So that's why in order to avoid, first thing first, you need to use our feet, like the flame position. I want to make sure that I place my feet, the legs between me and him, like this. Then I can safely expose, like feel the lapel off. In my case, I really like to start with lapel lasso. Then now I made a really tight connection with my leg and he's using lapel like this. As long as I do it, I want to see that my left shin is in front of belly. Then her is side is torso. That's been really connected with his lapel like this. Although he wants to come to my side, he can't do that. He's staying between my legs like this. Literally, I'm making a control like this. Then, if I want to make it safer, I even change the angle. So instead of staying here, I just change the angle like this. The time I play lapel lasso, the center line of this position is in front of my right shoulder. This is the center line. If I keep him in front of me like this, he's be able to go to the other side. Then I'm in trouble. That's why it's very important to cut the other side you have a male lapel control like this. One guard. One of major positions in lapel guard. Instead of staying right in front of him, by swinging my left leg, I'm gonna go to the other side, like close to his right leg, like this way. I swing my leg like this. And once I come around here, as you can see that, his right leg is really close to me. So I wanna make another connection. I wanna take his right leg. So as soon as I come up like this, I pass, my, pass his lapel to the other side of my hand like this. I start making more control. I don't have much mobility in an angle. So from now, I switch my hand one more time. So from here, I use my right hand like as if I'm chopping behind his knee with my wrist. By the time he goes, there's the frame that I can lock his right knee from outside. And then I switch his lapel like this. So I want you to see the situation here. This is the warm guard. The right side of my body, I'm really focusing on controlling him, like using my right leg, right arm, and his lapel like this. But on the other hand, left side of my body is completely free. That's why I can make a lot of mobility and angles, like swinging my leg, coming up. So this is the versatility of this technique. Plus, it's very difficult for him to pass my guard. Then most of the regular guard, we need to stay face to face, chest to chest. Otherwise, there is a risk to get attacked. But in this situation, 
Even though I look at the other side or expose my back, Ed cannot take my back. Can you take my back? He can't do that. So that, this is the reason the pill guys is really strong and maybe for some of people really annoying. Then it depends on the person's reaction, but let's just start with a sweep. So like I explained in the last chapter, we use our body differently. So we're gonna use the left side of our body to make momentum and angles. So from here, once we come up like this, we completely open the body. Then from now, in order to sweep him, I wanna do the technical standard. I use my left leg, like clamp it behind his heel like this. Then from this position, instead of I knock him down to the ground, I wanna pick his left leg. That's like, sorry, right leg. That's like the single leg take time. So from here, I raise my hips up, then I do like a technical stand up. Then I bring him down to the ground. Then there's another like big advantage in this technique, kind of rewarding for the warm guard. I want to see the situation. We've been still connected with the lapel like this. So it's not good to let it go like this, right? As long as you keep this one, like, like I explained, you make a really tight control. That means your partner could be really difficult to get back to regular guard, like car sleep guard, spider guard. It's almost impossible for him to be able to get back. That's why you just wanna still keep in it. Then once you can clear a person's knee like this, now your partner has no frames. You can take the back. Even if your partner exposed the arm, you can do the umber. Right, and this one is the back take, like baby bolo. It's a pretty similar to from De La Hever. But good thing is we made a stronger frame. In order for him to stay or defend a sweep, he's going to make bit, like a wide angles, like wide stance, like open his legs like this. We just use the other leg to make a hook like this. This is pretty similar to deep De La Hever. But good thing is, even though you make, make deep De La Hever, your partner has no room to do counter like neighbor against this one. Because of lapel or angle, we made more than usual. So from now, we're gonna make more controls. So from here, use our hands to grab a person's pants like this. We still keep the lapel. That's really unfair for him. Even though he wants to come back face to face, chest to chest, it's impossible to do. Now we're gonna adjust the position, like scooping hips side to side, like this. Look. This is the same as baby bolo, but as we use the lapel, this is way stronger than usual. Once it comes, I catch your partner's body with your shin and lapel, switch the hand. That allows you to send it forward, just like this. Once it comes up, upper body control from the side to take the back and score four points. If he knows what to do from lapel, like from my side, he wants to hide his leg, like keep his legs away. Like he gets away like this, or he may change the level, like he gets his, on his knees or the combat base. Today, let's try the session. He makes combat base like this. But like he can make the strong like frame between me and him. So in that case, it's gonna be a little difficult to switch to the warm guard. Or there's the other technique, reverse the warm or the squid. Then we're not gonna do that, maybe in the next video. But in this session, there's a chance to switch to the really tight position. That should be one of strongest warm guard, lapel guards, which is Polish warm lighter. I really like to use that one as well. So from here, like cross grip lapel lasso like this. And then half inversion. Since he makes combat base, he gives you another space. That's like a back side of his right leg. So we just wanna hold a person's leg like this. Then from this position, it's a bit tricky. I need to use my upper arm to hold his leg. So from now, I say I raise my hips up. Now, my right hand is free. From this position, I switch his lapel like this. As you can see, it's a really complicated situation, but it's super tight. One more step. If I keep my right leg lower than his knee level, he can still 
make the frame to press it down. That's why from this position, with the inversion, I completely create my knee like this. So this is a Polish warm rider. There's been more angles than warm guard or any other lapel guard. Plus, it's almost impossible for him to get back to face-to-face, -face, chest to chest. Then more options and versatility to attack from this position. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure you hit the like button. That's gonna be a great help to grow up this channel and make this video viral. Just because YouTube algorithm really likes that action. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please don't forget to do that for upcoming videos. Thank you guys. I'll you guys catch you in the next video. Bye.